10 productivity tips. So the first one is prioritize. And what you need to do is try to avoid all the busy work and only do what matters. And, and one suggestion uh, that I ran across when prioritizing um, is separating it out to like P1, P2, P3, um, which, you know, P1s are what takes, you know, the most priority at that time. So, for example, um, uh, if you're writing like an ebook, uh, that might not be like a priority one. Um, you might be able to, you know, just to kind of work on that as you go. Another example would be next month I'm going to be hosting a webinar on social media marketing. And um, right now, since I'm doing it next month, I'm not doing it this week, it's not really taking priority right now. So that's just something if I've got extra time that I'll go back and kind of work on. Uh, one thing that should be a priority, especially when it comes to growing your business, if you don't have leads coming in, people, you know, coming to you, prospecting, I mean, that could take a priority in your business. Um, number two, set long and short term goals. And one suggestion I have would be to like, have like five year goal, and then you can break it down and do like your goals for the next year. And you can even break that down even further into quarterly or monthly goals. And an example would be take for instance, if you know, in 2016, you want to bring in or sponsor 50 people into your business. Well, it's kind of overwhelming when you think about trying to sponsor 50. So if you break it down into monthly goals, that's roughly about four people a month that you would need to sponsor. And then you could break that down into weekly goals and, you know, how many people do you need to talk to a week so you can sponsor that one person every week. Um, number three, uh, create your schedule in a calendar. Uh, for me, I'm very much the old fashioned type where I actually have a calendar that I write things down in. I know a lot of people will use the calendar like on their phone, on their computer. I know now with technology, I mean, you can put something on your, on your phone and it's connected to all of your different devices. So just manage your schedule. Uh, one way you could do this is uh, you can create like color cult color coding in your planner uh, to where you can break it down and see where your time is being spent. So prospecting, content, um, I even have in my calendar um, as far as like household tasks and family time. And that way when I'm color coding, I know where my time is being spent. Um, number four, once you have that down in your calendar, just be sure like on Sunday just to go back and review um, review each week ahead of time so that you're kind of prepared and you know kind of what's going on. Number five, getting enough sleep. Um, if you don't get enough sleep, your mind, you're, it's going to be a lot harder for you to focus on your tasks. I know for me, and this is different because some people, they need a lot of sleep. You know, some people, they do much better on less sleep. For me, if I get too much sleep, I tend to drag and I'm, I'm, I'm not focused as much. So just make sure, I mean, you know how much sleep your body needs, but just make sure you're getting enough sleep at night. And uh, number six, use your time wisely. The goal is to work smarter and not harder, but I was doing the opposite. I was working harder and not smarter. And um, what I've learned is take, for instance, um, I'll make sacrifices. So if I'm in the car and I'm going to town, Instead of listening to music, I'll turn on my phone and listen to a podcast. Or instead of, you know, watching a movie, I decided to go ahead and bring you these, you know, these tips to help you. So kind of make some sacrifices and that'll save you some time. We haven't had cable since like May and I don't even really miss it because there's stuff that I need to do. Number seven, um, this has really helped me because I have um, a toddler. She's two. She'll be three in February. And um, so for me, one thing that I've found that has allowed me to be more productive is I will wake up earlier in the morning 
especially on the days that I am doing a blog post, I'll wake up earlier and go ahead and get some of those more important tasks and priorities done before she even gets up. So that way when she gets up, I can focus on her. Also for me, I'm very much a morning person. So getting up, I am a lot more focused and ready to go in the morning versus at night because as the day goes on, I kind of drag out. However, I know other people who function better at night. I have a niece who she, she'll sleep till two or three o'clock in the afternoon, but at night, that's when, I mean, that's when she's really focused and she can be more productive. Um, number eight, do not try and do everything at once. And this is especially important when it comes to your marketing strategy. And I'll give you an example. There for a while, I was trying to learn so much. And when you try to learn everything, it's kind of like just a big brain fog. Everything just kind of mushes together. So what I did was I sit down and I determined what marketing strategy I wanted to start doing. Uh, and that was blogging. So what I did was I just focused on my blog. Uh, not sit here and try to do, you know, other training courses or sit here and and learn about how to, you know, make money on Instagram or how to, you know, generate leads from LinkedIn or something like that. I sit down and I really focused on that one marketing strategy, learning everything I could about it. And then once I started generating some leads, that's when I went back and then I started incorporating other things. So just try not, um, try not to learn and do everything at once. Number nine, outsource. Um, do not waste your time on tasks um, that are taken away from what's more important. If you're not tech savvy, which I'm not tech savvy at all, um, don't sit here and, and waste a ton of time trying to learn how to put together a, a lead capture page or um, if you don't know how to, you know, put together a blog. You can outsource that because there are lots of people who know how to do it, know how to do it quickly. I know um, on my blog, I have a giveaway where I came up with, um, it's a free top earner success guide, five keys that I feel like everybody should know in their business if they want to be successful. Now, when I first put it up, I just had, I just created like a little opt-in form uh, on Aweber and basically just put name and email. Well, what I did was I went back to, uh, it's fiverr.com and you can outsource for like tons of stuff for like five bucks. You don't know how to do graphics. You can search at the top for graphics and tons of people will come up. So what I did was I had a 3D book cover made just to kind of make that giveaway stand out a little bit more. And heck, I mean, I have no idea how to create one, but the time that it would have taken me to learn how to do that, I mean, my, your time is valuable and, and time is money. So if you don't know how to do something, you know, outsource it because there are a lot of people who do. Finally, number 10, use tools and resources to help you save time. You are marketing on social media. You don't have a lot of time on your hands. You know, maybe you can sit down on a Sunday afternoon and if you have a Facebook fan page, you can schedule out your post for the day, for the week. Also apps on your phone, apps out there online like Hootsuite, where you can schedule out your post for different social media sites and things like that. So that's what I'll usually do on days that, you know, I'm putting up a blog post. I'll sit down, write up my blog post, and then I will go ahead and schedule out the video for that for later on that day. And that way I'm not sitting here having to put reminders on my phone um, when it comes to trying to remember, you know, I, okay, I need to post, I need to post, I can go ahead and schedule it out and that way it's taken care of for me. Um, so those are my 10 productivity tips. And um, to help you start 2016 off strong, if, uh, if you found value in this, feel free to share it. And if you want that top earner success guide that I created, just um, go to sherrybrowncoaching.com forward slash success guide and uh, enter your name and email. That'll be sent to you. And I uh, hope you found value in this. And until next time, bye.